Can you survive by trading on the Fargo black market? You want me to full wrestling video? Wow, I got a, quite the squad in front of me right now. You don't need that to compete this weekend? Can you help me? Yeah, I got you. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Hey, Scam. brother right here got scammed. Scam. Thinking, wow, I did such a great job, and I immediately start getting clowned on by all these kids. Last year was my first time at Fargo, and I was really excited to experience the black market for myself. So I brought a pair of Flow Wrestling socks, I gave them to a kid, and I wanted to see how high he could trade up in value from those. We ended up with a singlet that had the OG Flow logo, and I thought that was pretty good considering we started with just a pair of socks. It had the OG like Flow green wave, it tied it in a nice like full circle bow, right? But this year I wanted to get a little more extreme. I showed up here with nothing, and I want to see if I can live off the profit I make trading on the Fargo black market. Now when I say live, I just mean that my food budget is limited to whatever profit I make trading on the Fargo black market. I'm doing a three day challenge, and I designed it to progressively get, to, get out of here. Stupid fly. This is a three day challenge and I designed it to progressively get more difficult. On day one, I need to buy dinner with my black market profit. On day two, I need to buy lunch and dinner. And finally, on day three, I need to buy all three of my meals using only the profit I make from trading on the Fargo black market. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm really conquering my fear of recording myself in front of people right now. Now you might be wondering, what happens if I don't make enough profit to buy the food? Well. I go hungry. So I know I've actually been here already for two days, but it was girls only competition days and the girls don't seem to really set up shop the way that the boys do. They actually seem interested in the wrestling. Go figure. But the boys start competition tomorrow. So hopefully there's more people out there setting up shop because if there's not, then I don't get to eat. Now you heard me say earlier that I came here with nothing and you might've thought to yourself, well, how the heck is he gonna trade up from nothing? But I'm not actually starting with nothing because I do have one edge that I plan on using to my full advantage. And that's access to the Flow Wrestling Instagram account. I'm hoping that if I offer to follow a kid from the verified wrestling account, then I might be able to trade that for something of decent value in return. Will the kids actually care about getting a follow from Flow Wrestling? I have no idea, but I don't have a backup plan. so I really hope it works. All right, that should be enough context. Let's fast forward to tomorrow where I'm doing the challenge. And if I'm wearing the same outfit that I'm wearing right now, mind your own business. Good morning. I know it might look like I'm in the same outfit, but I am wearing a different shirt. Fargo's long, cut me some slack. The goal today is to make enough money to buy dinner. Now to make that easier on myself, I picked a specific dinner, kind of feeling Chipotle right now. And according to their website, the chicken burrito costs $8.20. But you know, I might want guac too, sue me. And I also wanna make a little bit of extra money that can contribute towards lunch tomorrow because tomorrow it's not just dinner, it's gonna be lunch and dinner that I have to pay for from the black market profit. For that reason, I'm gonna set my profit goal at $12 today. Today is really important because this is where I found out if the Instagram thing actually holds any value on the market. And if it doesn't, then this whole thing falls apart. Andy, what do you think a kid would be willing to trade on the Fargo Black Market for a follow from Flow Wrestling's Instagram. I don't know, I'm eager to find out. <laughs> do you think it has value? Yeah, it's got value. Why? Street cred, man. How many times do we get asked, will you follow us, will you follow us, will you follow us? All the time, so I'm hoping that it works. If you were a kid right now, what would you trade for a Flow Wrestling follow? I've already got one. Already got <laughs> I think you can pay for the rest of your trip. You think so? Yeah. A savvy businessman like yourself. All right, I'm here outside the Fargo Dome. Uh, I feel like it's important before I just willy nilly just start trading, I should develop some sort of strategy, which is why I came out here first. But as I was on my way out here, some kids sprinted up on me. They're like, put me in a flow wrestling video, put me in a flow wrestling video. What, what happened? You guys just rolled up and you knew who I was from the video? Yeah, yeah. I, I no, noticed yeah. that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's actually him. <laughs> I guess they actually recognized me from the last time I was here. I guess you could call me a little bit of a Fargo celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, I'm gonna let you in on my secret plan for what I have for this trip. I'm trying to survive off the Fargo black market. I came here kind of with nothing, but I'm gonna try to trade a follow from the Flow Wrestling Instagram account. The look on the kid's face said everything. So I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Do you think that that's valuable? That's valuable. So you guys would trade, like you personally, would you trade something for the- I probably Oh yeah. Yeah? I trade like a singlet. Why is like that valuable? I don't know, because it's just Flow Wrestling just followed me. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You think I can buy dinner off of whatever I trade you for You probably that? can. Yeah. yeah? I appreciate you guys. Uh, you have a good day. Hey, yeah, you, you too. too. The kid over there said I might be able to get a singlet. That's the new goal. If I get a singlet, I think I'll be eating good tonight. What I don't want to happen, though, is I go up to one kid and he offers me something and I just take it right away, because I can be kind of a pushover like that sometimes, especially with kids. So I'm going to see if I can get like a bidding thing going on, where I'm going to walk up to a group of kids be like, hey, does anyone want to flow wrestling follow and see see if I can start some sort of a bidding war. It is almost 11 a.m. on day one and we already got some kids setting up shop, so I think that's a good sign. You want to be on camera? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> my, friend, my friend over here wants to be on camera. What's right up? Here. 
I was getting the shot on my phone just to see what time it was and immediately a kid already wanted to be on camera. I think I kind of underestimated the clout that I now have from the last time I did this video. I hate hearing other people talk about cloud unless it's always negative. Cloud is bad. Anyways, I think I underestimated the clout that I now have from doing this video last year. What's the most, anybody want to trade anything for a follow back Yo, to Flow Wrestling? I have access to the Flow account. You guys, you guys already, think it's valuable to like offer to follow someone already, from the yeah, Flow yeah, Wrestling yeah, account? Yeah, you already follow me though. I, okay, well then get out of here. I don't need it's you. It's valuable for sure. Yeah? yeah? Would you guys trade me anything for it? You only have some. Uh, I, only, I only have Show an Where the man? Where the, where the I got access to the Flow Wrestling right? Instagram account. What do you mean? Oh. You think I could get like a decent trade for that? Yeah. Wow, I got a, quite the squad in front of me right now. I immediately got swarmed by kids, but I think most of them just wanted to be in the video because none of them were really throwing me offers yet. You know what I'm saying? We want a trade. I can't give it to Doesn't you. matter. Whatever I can get best value for. Pull some out. Pull some out. Uh, this singlet right here. No, that's the this most singlet? expensive one. <laughs> I'll give you a low cut singlet. A low cut singlet? <laughs> Are those popular these days or no? Yeah. 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 Are you guys lying to no, me? We're not lying. <laughs> no. no. Okay. Lying is sick. See, when I was a kid, low cut singlets were cool. So I don't know if they you guys are cool. playing no, there. Okay. Okay. All the, all the yeah, good yeah. kids yeah. were. Like, yeah. Okay. I trade you this for a fall off wrestling. What is it? Let me see. We got a cowboy hat, Team Oklahoma. That's official Oklahoma gear. You don't need that to compete this weekend. One kid turned around and said, I got this Team Oklahoma singlet. Now I thought that was a pretty good deal because going into this, my goal was to get a singlet. I thought any singlet has gotta be worth at least like 15, 20 bucks, right? My Instagram is Tyler.Tarn. All right, search yourself. So I offered to follow him on Instagram and my worst nightmare, no service. Yeah, it's not loading. That's not good. I worked so hard, I came all this way and now the stupid cell reception is gonna be the reason I don't eat dinner tonight. I honestly was about to walk away and try to regroup, figure out a new strategy until this kid ran up to me and said, yo, let me connect you to my hotspot. All right, I'm here with Tyler Tan. And what am I trading you for this? Well, I'm trading him this Team Oklahoma singlet for a follow from Flo. <laughs> okay. Now, I tried to follow you earlier on camera over there, but I couldn't get service. And what'd you come back to me and, and offer me? I'm gonna give him my hotspot. <laughs> This kid really wants to follow. What emoji is that? A vampire. All right, Tyler Toon. <laughs> yep. If your hotspot doesn't work, you might not get this singlet. Oh! Top of him. That, that's it, right there. You want to hit follow yourself? Yep. Follow back. <laughs> that's so tough. Oh, yeah, here's the singlet. Thank you. I need to let you know that if you post any weird stuff, I'm going to have to unfollow you. No, I don't you. post anything weird. Right now, you got a wrestling video. Wrestling. That's cool. Just wrestling. All right, thank happen. you, man. Now, I'm thinking, okay, this is official Fargo gear. This has got to be worth like at least 20 bucks, right? Like, I should be chilling for dinner and maybe even some lunch tomorrow. So I asked these kids how much they think it's worth. What's your name? Aiden. Okay. Aiden, how much do you think this singlet would be worth, like in cash dollars? Like if, so, if I was gonna try to get someone to buy this right now, how much do you think it'd be worth? Like 60. $60? 60. $60? $60? Did anyone offer you a, a deal? And then when you said, oh, that sounds good for $50, and then they said, here you go, and they meant doll hairs, and then they just hand you the doll hairs? No. When those kids said $60, I was taken aback. I was like, whoa, did I set too easy of a challenge for myself? My goal today was $12. And you're telling me this is worth $60? Yeah. You can get your dinner. You come back after session one. You think I can trade up from this? Yeah. For something more valuable? Yeah. Cool. But the whole point of this was to trade up, right? So I wasn't going to stop there. I want to make at least one more trade. And the kid there told me that after session one, it was going to be crazy. So I plan to go back after session one, which gave me a lot of room to either make more money or get scammed. All right, session one just ended. We got a bunch of kids lining up over here. Earlier, I traded for this Team Oklahoma singlet. The kids were kind of gassing me up, telling me it's worth a lot. I don't know if that's true. I got an appraiser I'm gonna deal with later. I'll find out the real value of this. But right now I'm gonna try to find a kid that will help me trade up from this. See if I can get something even more valuable. Let's give it a shot. Now the biggest problem is I'm 24. So I'm like super old, right Spay? Disgustingly old. Obviously I'm joking, I'm super young and spry and also athletic, but I don't exactly have the same taste that these high school kids have, so I, there's always risk of me getting scammed because I don't exactly know what's hot, you know what I'm saying? Which is why I wanted to find a kid that would help me make sure that I don't get scammed and that I only trade up, right? You wanna be in a flow wrestling video? You good at trading? No, I'm not really good You're at trading. You're not good at no. trading? I'm trying to trade for a friend right now. Well see, I'm trying to find someone that'll make sure I don't get scammed because I don't really know the value of all this stuff. I don't know what kids like. i am be honest with you, I don't know a lot of the value here. And shout out Michigan. Shout out Michigan, baby. Shout out Michigan? Yeah, yeah. You, you're my boy. You'll yeah, help yeah. me out here? Hell yeah. I need your help in trading up for, this is a small team Oklahoma singlet. Small team Oklahoma. Yeah, you think I can get something like better out of oh, 100%. this? Oh, 100%. Can you help me? Yeah, I got you. All right, can so, I give this to you? All right, yeah. sorry. Oh, I feel famous now. All right, um, well that team Georgia, that team Georgia sweatshirt goes for a lot. Like, like the, the crew neck, 
Okay. Yeah, it goes for a lot. I don't know if you. I don't you know about. Trade it. for one of these. I don't know yet because this is also this is Team Michigan, right? Or no, no, this is uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I feel like I could get that crew neck and then something else with it too. All right, let's go. It. Let's go back yeah. over there. Let's go back over there. Are you the one running it? Who's running? Do you know who's running this one over here? Better scam these fools. Better scam these fools. I got this. I want that and something else. These fools are not trading right. They don't know what they're doing. Let's talk about this. A shout out. I, can you tell him for a shout out? If he, I could say this and trade for a shout out. Could you do that? Yeah. He just you could do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I right, bet. We gotta use the Instagram to our full advantage here. I'm back for a proposition. That, for this, and a shout out on Flow Wrestling. He don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. No, sorry. You sure? Yeah, sure. What am I doing? Like, what is it, what's going on? You need to find someone else, because this ain't working. We tried. I'm gonna give you back the single respectfully. Hey, you. you gotta find someone else, bro. I'll do my best. I tried, I tried. I need that microphone back. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> I have a singlet, a small singlet. It's a 2018 Seahorse Open or finalist it. singlet. The winner, it's a small. Would you trade that? What? Let me see it. Seahorse oh, Open. Uh, uh, Who wore this? Benefit. Hold on, hold on. Benefit. Who won this? Sawyer Bartlett. He's a what? Three time Florida State champ. He's coming here for Gecko. Okay. So do you think that like Florida kids might think this is valuable or something? Yes. If they knew who wore it, yes. yes. If they, if people that is Sawyer Bartlett. Like, yes. Would, yes. That is. You're from, you're from Florida too? Yes, I'm from Florida. We're we from probably Florida. the best. So it's like a big deal? Yeah, very big deal. You guys are all from Florida? I feel like I'm getting scammed by you guys. No, 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 I swear, I swear. No, 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 no. All right, you trade me it for this? Yes, yes. All right, deal. All right, I might have just got scammed, but hopefully I didn't. We got a small seahorse open singlet. I guess you only get this if you're a finalist at this tournament. Sawyer Bartle wore this. I guess he's a three time Florida State champ. The Florida kids were really hyping him up. Maybe I can trade this to another Florida kid if they know who wore it. They think it's valuable. That's what they're trying to sell me on, anyways. I was satisfied with that because the Florida kids were gassing it up so hard. And I was about to leave, but then a swarm of kids came as we were trying to pack up and they brought us back over there. And that's when I saw a singlet that caught my eye. I was about to put everything away, and then a group of kids just swarmed me. They Elijah want to know what I'm trading. <laughs> <laughs> you cater for Washington. All right. You're only trading it? Okay. I, I guess we got to get dragged over this corner. Hey, no, we're following. We're following. This stuff right here. I got this small seahorse open singlet. You only get this if you're a finalist in the tournament. I guess a three-time state champ from Florida wore it. And he's on the U20 world team right now. Would you trade it for the Taki singlet? I love Takis. You see, I wasn't really familiar with the tournament that the singlet I had was from. It didn't really have a lot of value to me. But I did see a Taki singlet. You can get it now, but we got to do a bigger trade later on. Okay. All right. Wow. Appreciate you. Man. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. <laughs> he thinks I just got scammed. He 100% just got scammed. Hey, scammed. brother right here got scammed. Scammed. Uh, uh, who got wrestles scammed, in a Taki singlet? You know you have no drip. Sick, you have no drip if you wrestle. I grew up eating Takis. The cut on that singlet is crazy. I think yeah, look, your glizzy's literally fuck? poking. You're not the <laughs> Glizzy's literally poking. Yeah. So I made the trade, and I'm thinking, wow, I did such a great job. And I immediately start getting clowned on by all these kids. I love Takis. I don't know why everyone's talking trash on this singlet. I don't know what the Seahorse Open is, but I know what Takis are. So I think it was a good trade. We'll find out. It also wasn't until I got back to this Airbnb that I realized it's a youth large, so I might have made a mistake. Check it out though, I think it's kind of fire. I'm gonna take it to the appraiser. Hopefully they'll tell me I can get like 15 bucks. That would surpass the original goal of 12. All right, I'm back over here. I got this Taki singlet. I gotta find out how much this is worth so I know what my food budget is. So I'm gonna take it, go get it appraised, see what I can buy. Hey man, I'm looking for someone who really knows the value of stuff. You know anyone who's good at appraising? This guy over here? Thank you. Hey man. I heard you're uh, I heard you're good at a pri <laughs> why'd you stand up? I heard you're good at appraising things, is that true? Yeah, I'm not bad at it. Alright, I want you to tell me how much this Taki singlet's worth. Taki singlet? I don't know, like it's really small. You large, like maybe 30 bucks. 40. I'm not, I'm not good. This is a youth large. <laughs> Alright. Alright, thirty dollars. Five, ten, eleven, twelve. 29, 30. No, no, no. Shout Thank out you. to my Quincy boys. Quincy, Illinois. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so obviously that was a joke. I don't actually plan on taking any money from kids while I'm out here, but that was a reflection of what that kid actually did tell me he thinks the singlet's worth. So that's how I'm gonna kind of do things here. I'm gonna see what the value of the item I have at the end of the day is, and then that's what my budget towards food is. And then whatever item I have at the end of the day, I'm just gonna go find a kid and give it to him. So let's go find a kid who wants a Taki singlet. All right, I got a free Taki singlet. Does anyone want this? I'll take, I'll take it. it. You want it? Sure, why not? Do you need to fit in this? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I could. Thank you. I actually told that kid off camera that I was going to give him that singlet, so if you're wondering why he didn't really act surprised, that's why. 
All right, so honestly, I'd say today was a pretty big success. I had no idea what the value of the Instagram thing was gonna be. It ended up being worth way more than I thought it would. And I got 30 bones. This is actually my cash. I took it out of the bank, but I just felt like it was a nice visual for the video, you know what I'm saying? $30 in the bank, proven you can make it off the Fargo Black Market. This is the American dream right here, baby. The only thing left to do now is go get some Chipotle. And I even made enough money to splurge on some guac. Can I get a chicken burrito, please? Can I get guacamole, please? Did you think I was gonna be able to do it today? I didn't think so. <laughs> you actually didn't think so? Well, I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I don't know. What's a, what's a follow worth on Instagram? I didn't know. I thought, uh, it, may, I thought it might take a couple days, but got it done. So the burrito with guac costed $12.47. That leaves me with an extra $17.53 for tomorrow. Now, my original plan was to trade the Instagram thing tomorrow again and move from there, but the Instagram thing worked just a little too well and I wanna make this a little more challenging. So instead, I'm gonna take this $17.53. I'm gonna try to buy an item first thing in the morning with that and then trade up from there. We'll see if it works. We'll see if I have to go hungry. There will be a new video out tomorrow where you'll get to find out.